There are about 165,000 new cars and light trucks added to the roads of the planet every day. That's about 60 million new vehicles each year. The fuel efficiency of the average North American vehicle is about 30 to 32 miles per gallon. If we could make that vehicle out of magnesium and save weight, we could increase fuel economy to about almost 40 miles per gallon. The Magnet project is a uh, partnership between Canadian universities and uh, companies to produce lightweight uh, materials to be used in vehicles so that we can improve the fuel economy and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The main idea was to use um, the lightest structural material known, magnesium, to replace um, conventional steels. But we all are very familiar with steel and it's great in many ways, but the one disadvantage steel has is that its density or weight is quite high. For the same volume, magnesium is 80% lighter than, than steel. Or if we thought about it in a different way, you could replace one steel door on a car with four doors made out of magnesium that would weigh the same amount. For the average person, the reduction in weight of a vehicle will be something that they probably don't notice very much other than when they go to the, to the gas station because their vehicle will get much better fuel economy when it's lighter. We were able to make the magnesium door inner panels just as quickly and efficiently as the conventional steel panels. For the magnesium, the key difference is that we have to heat up the material a little bit. So the magnesium sheet is placed between two hot heating platens. It's kind of like putting a piece of toast in a toaster. And then a robot comes in, picks up the heated part, and places it into the die. At that point, the top portion of the die comes down and forms the part into the final inner door shape. This is done in about six to eight seconds. This is the part of the project that was really important because people thought that this couldn't be done. General Motors was the biggest supporter of the program, obviously a large producer of cars, but we also had a major parts supplier, Magna International, Finally, we needed a company that could supply the magnesium sheet that we needed to make the components, and this was Magnesium Electron in the United States.